hello guys how you are doing today i hope you guys are doing great if this is your first time of seeing my video hi my name is etio sayo welcome to my youtube channel and if you are watching this video right now and you haven't subscribed yet already do not forget to hit the red subscribe button on your screen and if you do don't forget to turn on your notification button so you will be the first to be notified each time i'll be uploading a new video and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning in today in today's video i'll be teaching you guys how to make extra widening black soap this particular black soap can be used for the face it can be used for the body it can be used for all skin type but not for all skin color if you know that you are dark in complexion you cannot use this soap because this soap is going to lighten your skin and also if you don't want to use lotion or if you're not a fan of body lotion you can as well use the soap and this soap will lighten your skin gradually it will moisturize your skin skin and give you this luminous skin tone quickly introduce all the ingredients we have here so the first thing i'll be introducing to you guys is this particular soap this is my base okay so this soap this soap right here i have four different kind of soap which i'll be introducing to you guys and also i'll be explaining how i came about with this paste here as you guys can see it's very very thick so um the first soap i'll be showing to you guys is kojic acid soap so this particular soap lightens the skin it helps get rid of dark spots it helps get rid of pigmentation and also it helps to brighten or lighten the skin so if you haven't tried out the soap before i guess you should try it out this soap on its own works very very well okay so i have one of these in this paste i have here and then the second soap i'll be showing you guys is this it's called bleaching soap with skin moisturizer now let me quickly explain to you guys this name you can see right here is not really what this soap does it doesn't bleach the skin i guess this is just a selling name this particular soap will help to brighten your skin it will help to glow your skin and it will help to moisturize your skin and this soap comes in um i think a dark black color that's how it comes is a black soap okay so i added one of these into this and then the next soap i'll be showing you guys is um kojic whitening soap with orange pea extract plus aha so this particular soap is going to help exfoliate your skin it's going to help get rid of pigmentation it will lighten your skin and also it will help get rid of dark spot and hyper pigmentation as well so this particular soap is very very good for the skin and you can also use this soap as it is you don't need to you know uh, promise it or use it to make any other soap okay this is very very good and then the next soap i'll be introducing to you guys is this here so this, this particular one comes in this pack okay so this is called kojic white with carrot and papaya soap this particular soap is going to lighten your skin within uh, 14 days it's going to lighten your skin it will glow your skin help with hyperpigmentation dark spots to help get rid of uh, discoloration on the skin so this particular soap is super duper good for the skin and if you guys notice all of the base soap i have here contain kojic acid or kojic dip okay so when you are making your soap and you want to have a very effective you know um effective product i will advise you do 50 50 or 70 30 okay so now i'm doing 50 50 this is my um mist soap so i have 50 percent here so this is how it looks like so when you're making your soap i advise you add all of these things all of this soap to it if you can't get any of this you can as well look out for other soaps that have kojic, tea, kojic dip or kojic acid to get a better result so now i'll be introducing you guys to the black soap i'll be making use of i'll be making use of kojic fresh uh from ghana so this particular soap is very very good it doesn't lighten it doesn't uh, whiten the skin what it does is it's just going to tone your skin and also it will help uh exfoliate your skin so this is how it comes i totally love the consistency and also how it works on the skin and then the second black soap i have here is this moroccan whitening herbal soap so don't mind the name that is written here it doesn't whiten or lighten it only tones the skin and it helps to exfoliate the skin and it lathers very very well so this is my second time of trying this moroccan whitening herbal soap okay and with this uh, colgate soap uh, sorry cottage soap 
they both of them look similar and the consistency is almost the same and it smells the same as well and then i'll be making use of two uh one and a half cottage soap i have half of this soap here and then i have this moroccan soap which is two and a half and one thing i must let you guys know if you are buying cottage fresh cottage uh, fresh has two types so if you are buying it make sure that you are buying the original one because it has the fake one so if you are buying the best way to know the original cottage fresh is this if you see the nylon that they use um cover uh, covering the soap you see that the name is crystallized on it and then this particular one i don't really know but this is how i got it and then also the cover also have the name crystallized on it as well so now what i'm going to do before introducing to you guys the many ingredients we have i'll be adding in this black soap into my base so guys here i have all the soaps i need um cottage fresh one and a half moroccan uh, harbor soap one so the moroccan harbor soap is very very thick is far more thicker than the cottage fresh okay so now that i'm done adding the soap first thing i'm going to be adding is my liquids and then the powders okay so now the first serum i'll be adding into the soap is skin free milk okay so i'll be adding one serum then i'll be adding in uh tea tree oil okay so i'll be adding in just a little i'm going to be assessing this that's about three tablespoons okay just to you know make the soap to moisturize the skin after using it and when you are adding oils into your soap please do not add too much and also don't add too much concentrate because it's going to make your soap smell after some time okay and then the next oil i'll be adding in is my white now oil so this uh, oil contains beta carotene and also it contains fruit acid it's going to help uh brighten the skin exfoliate the skin at the same time lighten the skin so i'm going to be pouring in everything because i just have like half of this left here and then next thing i'll be adding into the soap is my uh, moroccan um oil okay or argan oil so i'm just going to be adding in just a little bit and then next oil i'll be adding in is my um this is one minute oil now let me quickly explain what i have here this particular oil i made this for stretch mark okay and i have different type of oil in here and this is for stretch mark this is an anti stretch mark anti green vein and also is going to help repair the skin this oil right here is very very effective okay super duper effective and then i'm going to be adding in everything if not everything but half of the piece so before adding it in i'm going to uh, stir also the oil is a bit thick and it does separate as well so i'm just going to stir it and then i'll add in I think half of this is enough uh instead of you adding too much concentrate i'll advise you just adding few oils and that is it don't add too much and then next thing i'll be adding in is rose uh water so rose water is going to help against redness and also it's going to help calm the skin so i'm going to be adding in about 50 um 50 ml or more than that don't add too much so guys now that i'm done adding my soap so i'm going to show to you guys the remaining powders and active ingredient that we have left so first of all i'll be introducing you guys to the active powders um so the first active powder that i have here with me is kojic dip so this is going to help lighten the skin and also it will help you know uh, help with dark spots and then the next powder i have here is vitamin b powder so vitamin b powder helps with hyperpigmentation dark spots and discoloration on the skin so the next powder i'll be adding in is my liquorice uh extract so i'll be adding in two tablespoons so mind you all of these active powder are two tablespoons except for the kojic dip so the kojic dip i have three tablespoons so you can use your percentage if you know the quantity you'll be making because i know 
the quantity you'll be making and the one that i'll be making or that i'm making will not be the same so use your own calculation and then i have my alantoin powder so alantoin powder helps with um reaction on the skin it helps with redness it helps to you know repair the skin so here i have two and a half tablespoon and then the next powder that i have here is sulfur powder sulfur powder helps with uh rashes and it helps with reaction and also it helps with um eczema and um discoloration on the skin here i have two tablespoons the next powder i'll be adding in is rice powder rice powder has antioxidant and also it helps to exfoliate the skin so here i have two tablespoons and then the next powder that i have here is turmeric powder so turmeric powder i have two tablespoons Sumeri powder helps to brighten the skin. It contains antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. It helps to brighten the skin and it helps against dark spots, discoloration, and also um, pigmentation. And then the next thing I have here is um, blue alum. Blue alum powder helps with acne. It helps with white head and black head, and also it helps to exfoliate the skin. So in here I have one tablespoon. So the next thing I'll be adding in is calm wood powder. So calm wood powder helps with acne, it helps with dark spot and also it helps with pimples. It also helps against redness and also for people that have um, reaction on their skin. And then the last powder that I have here with me is sandalwood powder. Sandalwood powder helps even out the skin. It helps to moisturize the skin and also it helps with acne, pimples, discoloration, and hyperpigmentation. In here, I have three tablespoons. So the next thing I'll be doing now, I'll be mixing all of this together before adding in my preservative, my essential oil, and vitamin E, and also my fragrance. So I'll be right back. So guys, I'm done missing, although I'm still going to miss this before it's eventually incorporated together so i have my preservative here so this is my preservative i have 50 ml don't forget i use my own measurements so i don't know the quantity you'll be making so this is 50 ml and then i have um vitamin e oil 50 ml then i have tea tree essential oil you can use any essential oil of your choice I decided to use tea tree essential oil because it helps with acne and pimples and also it helps to minimize uh, breakout and then I have my fragrance so this fragrance is a combination of orange fragrance and aloe vera fragrance I'm going to take my time to mix this together very well to incorporate together and I will be right back So guys, my black soap is ready. As you guys can see, the consistency is very, very thick. So um, I want to leave this overnight because of the lumps that it has. So there's a bit of lumps inside and I really want it to ferment very well before packing it. So I'm going to be leaving this overnight. Then tomorrow I will remiss it. Then I will have to you know, pack it. So this is how my black soap looks like. If you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. And don't forget to leave a comment uh, down below. And please do well to subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye for now. Hi right, guys, so uh, lightning black soup is ready. This is how it looks like, and it has this creamy consistency, and that's what I was looking for. I love it, it lathers so well. Okay, so you can just make the soup for yourself, and you can also make it and sell it. This soup is going to help brighten your skin, it's going to help you know glow your skin at the same time. It will also help to you know eliminate dark spot pigmentation hyperpigmentation and discoloration on your skin